Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. That's uh, what I call a test. When I test the microphone, I go test, one, two, three. You, you guys have probably never heard of it. It's uh, pretty sophisticated stuff, you wouldn't get it. Boys, ladies, gentlemen, girls, and women, and g other girls, welcome to my new segment. As you know, my upload schedule is Shit. I got this new segment. So there's some bins that you can't record at. And by some bins, I mean literally 99.75% of them. The one in my hometown, I can record in, but that's only because they don't care about anything, including their bin. I really don't even go there anymore because uh, they don't put anything out. So what I'm gonna do is this new segment where I divide all my finds into categories. This is just a haul video. All you're gonna see is me showing you the stuff I got. This introduction is gonna be a little long so I can explain this. If you like the video, like it. If you don't, don't like it, no big deal. It's literally just showing you what I got. Easy peasy, cut and dry, squeezy, little teasy. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm going to do it in two different sections. One section will be the toy section. The other one will be the video game section. And then we'll have hard line and then we'll have clothes. The clothes will be closed. Hard line will be just kind of like random BS that I thought was kind of cool to pick up or worth a pick up for personal use or to, I don't know, flea market, whatever. The toys will be toys. Media, oh, another section, media. That's a good section too. Probably start with the smallest one first. For this haul, the smallest section was video games. Wow. So during this haul, we got Pokemon Fire. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. I actually found this in the parking lot. It is a little wee cracked on the side, but that's all right. Wow. Then we found a Game Boy in a Nexoft case, which is super, super cool. It's uh, totally beat to hell. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to restore it. I have one of these little plates. I'll put one of these plates on there. I'll put a backlit screen. I'll, uh, actually, I have a shell for this. <laughs> Boys and girls, I will be reshelling it in a see-through case. I bought this like 15 years ago on my 14th birthday. And wait, that would mean I'm 29. I'm not, I'm 26. No, I'm 25. I don't even fucking know. It has everything I need in there. I just completely forgot. That's gonna be exciting. I got this Wii Fit board. Who gives an absolute shit about Wii Fit? Let's be honest. But, but, cheeks. Ladies and gentlemen, this mother flipper is sealed. Oh. The game, the bat, the batteries are corroded. Absolutely the most boring thing in the video game history that I own, but a sealed game? Are you kidding me? I had to open it, guys, because the seal looked, um, the seal on the box looks a little weak, and I kind of thought like, hey, somebody just, you know, resealed it, and I definitely don't want to uh, ever get rid of this and be like, hey, it was sealed. But yeah, a little cleanup on the box, get rid of this, this guy's name, and the last thing at a video game haul, I know, not a very big haul, but look, oh my Jesus gosh, it is a purple Game Boy Color, formerly known as great. It is just the box, but look how freaking minty. All I have to do is get a Game Boy manual and the Game Boy. I also have uh, the Kiwi, and this one is complete in box. This is the one that I personally own, and she's super cute. But uh, now I'm gonna add another one to the collection. Look, this is all shiny. This one's all dull. Guess this one came out later. Let's see the dates on the back. Well, they both say 99, so same time. Now I'm gonna go to Hardline. Only because Hardline is absolutely massive, so I'm gonna go through this stuff quick. Uh, first off, I found this cool picture that I'll be putting in my home. It's a lady going, a shush shush, because uh, you've been talking way too long and you need to be quiet. The second one is this weird photo. It says, Super Suckers, The Hangman, February 20th, 2004, at the Roxy Theater, ooh, in Los Angeles. And it says 103 out of 172. A very weird uh, number for them to make, but I think I'm gonna have this framed because it's like super cool and it has their signature, so uh, whatever band this may Maybe. Hey, I got your shit. Next off, man, today was like camera day. I found so many cameras, it's insane. And I got a, a Canon EOS A2. So that one's pretty gnarly. Got some lenses in there. Then we have a Sony CyberShot. Then we have another Sony CyberShot, but this is a, a DSC H1. These were not that great of cameras, apparently, just from the reviews I've seen on it. This one was the camera of the day. This is a Kodak Pix Pro. Very good find. And then for the last camera, I have a Kodak Easy Share. Found a cute little Psycho watch. Seiko? Little Seiko watch. Found an Osprey backpack. These backpacks are very high quality. I got this uh, Millennium 2000 Fantasia mug. I no longer have glasses in my house now. I'm getting new ones, so this is a good start. I got this as a little decoration. Look at that. Wow. Empty jewel cases. Super handy. Can you guess what's in this Ray-Ban case?
Good answer, the Ray-Bans. I found a little baggie of sterling silver uh, pendants. I remember seeing these all the time, the 90s, man. You just measure a little footsie, measure a little toesies. They probably still have them. They're probably more simplified and probably not metal. I got a shitload of toilet paper. All of these were in an Amazon box that was sealed. So if somebody bought a shitload of toilet paper, uh, didn't, didn't use it. What do you want me to do, not wipe my ass? <laughs> Unless. I found this uh, bicycle seat. Somebody uh, is riding their bicycle at the moment without the seat. Big roll. Then we got ourselves a dark room timer. Super sick. Ow, my freaking legs. Alrighty, time to do clothes. We have this uh, vintage Runnin' Rebels hat. This is on a vintage starter tag. Super slick, super cute. And then, oh, we got some fire. Literally, this shit is on fire. Put it out, please, anyone. Los Angeles Lakers on a soft bill tag with the Drew Pearson tag. A panic at the disco flag. Um, I'm not gonna hang it up because I'm not, I'm just not, not, it's not for me, but I like it. We have a 2008, 2009 ACDC tour shirt. Super cool, it's a black ice tour. Black ice peas. <laughs> we got a super Earth Camp Austin shirt. Look at that. So cool, that print. Then we got a super vintage Texas shirt on a Heath knit tag. Then we got a 2015 Logic tour shirt. I have never listened to a single song of his, but uh, tour shirts, I always pick them up. A 2002 Masters hat. Then we got ourselves a vintage 2000 Powerpuff Girls twin bed sheet. I always pick up these bed sheets, like all the cartoon bed sheets, because I have a guy who just absolutely eats this shit up. I'm not sure if he actually layering each one on top of a single bed, or if he just has about 15 twin beds in his house yeah he buys these or collects them i don't know this dope ass capsule corp dragon ball z t-shirt then we got a cow chop t-shirt i used to love this youtube channel i think they split up uh, they also got robbed too that sucked a vintage tennessee t-shirt on a true fan tag a vintage lead t-shirt that um says if going to the bathroom in the middle of the night involves shoes and a flashlight you might be a redneck oh ha it's a uh it's an outhouse joke. Where's the trash can? Now, for media. Media. All righty. So for the books that I got today, we got two Gundam books, Yu-Gi-Oh! Naruto, and these uh, Japanese Cowboy Bebop books. And we only picked up two cassettes. We got the Go-Go's and uh, Diamond Rio. And for movies, uh, well, VHS are the only things I pick up. When I say only pick up, it's because I only pick up horror. We got Samuel's Lot, Pitch Black, Dementia 13, Army of Darkness, hell yeah. Final Destination, The Cell. By the way, I love the concept of VHS. It, it, it is so simplistic, or it is so overly, I don't, whatever, it's cool. Along Came a Spider, this was awesome movie and then the people under the stairs and then for the rest which you know some of these might be thrillers um, not classified as horror but I feel like thriller and horror are still in the same you know kind of area because you know if you're thrilled you're you might be horrified too or if you're horrored you might be thrilled hmm, I don't know uh, so we got the dark man eye of the beholder the mothman prophecies dude wrong turn man beast the forsaken manhunter urban legend and the exorcist 2 the heretic alrighty and for cards I got a few of these uh, 2000 2009 World Championship Pokemon cards. They're not in the greatest condition, but they are the World Championship cards, so I just picked up these. And then we got a stack of Magic the Gathering cards. I'm not really gonna show you these because I only know that there's a few of them that are worth money, um, but you know, it's just a stack. But the icing on the freaking cake, and I'm talking about Digimon cards, man. We got all the little battle mats, and dude, look at this absolute massive stack of Digimon cards. I've never seen this many Digimon cards in my life, even as a kid, because I didn't really, I didn't really buy many packs. Absolutely bonkers. Don't know if there's any rares in here. I know there are some holographics. Shit. Now for the toys. Gonna bring the camera down to the floor for the small stuff, uh, but let me show you the big stuff real quick. Uh, so for the big stuff, we found this huge Indominus Rex. Fortunately, his head is broken and some of the wires are cut, but um, his head might not be able to rotate after I'm done fixing him, but at least the sound and everything will work. Then I got this Pokemon Monopoly here. It's the uh, the heart and gold, or no, it's uh, the gold and silver version. Then I found this amazing grail. Look at this. The G.I. Joe headquarters. And now for the smaller stuff. I found a ton of Power Ranger Dino Charge. This guy was as complete as I could get one. This guy is re relatively complete. And then I have another one of him with just a few parts, two blasters, and I found a bunch of charges. Here's two here, five more in here. 
that you can see. Over here, we got a bunch of random little Pokemon minifigures. A Dale Jr. remote, got another bootleg here. Pops, a, a bunch of Halo minifigures. Super rare, Courage the Cowardly Dog Blush. Huge Popple, very excited about him. Tonka, a bunch of Pokeballs. Uh, what do you mean? But it's sealed. Two bags of Legos. Well, I mean, that's all I found this round at the bins. It was awesome. It was a very good run. Anyways, if you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you dislike it, dislike it. I'm gonna come out with more videos like this if this does pretty well. Put down in the comments below if you want me to make more of these because, you know, I'm putting one-offs and I'm trying to make as much content as I can since I don't really go to San Antonio anymore. Garage sales are probably gonna be the primary uploads on this channel. They do a lot better. Plus, I get to interact with more people. And uh, repair videos. I'm gonna do uh, some modding, some repairs, all that stuff. I have that in the future. But you guys have to remember, I'm running a business by myself. So I'm very tired most of the time. So this is actually really hard to do by myself. Other than that, thank you very much. Y'all have a good day.